begin with new developments in a suspected taxi cab robbery that ended in a deadly shooting. It's a story we've been tracking since Friday. Police allege two men were trying to violently rob a cab driver in New Bedford when the victim opened fire, killing one of the alleged attackers. And this afternoon, the surviving suspect faced the judge as the investigation into the deadly shooting continues to unfold. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us live from New Bedford District Court with more on today's new developments. Steph. Kyle Dawson is that surviving suspect. Police say the cab driver shot and killed the other suspect after both men allegedly tried to rob the cab driver at a knife, knife point. This defendant was the one who brandished the knife. 23 year old Kyle Dawson charged in a violent attack on a cab driver that ended with the death of his accused partner in crime. Christopher Dutton shot and killed by the cab driver who the DA's office said Dawson and Dutton were trying to rob early Friday morning after the taxi stopped to drop them off on Bentley Street in New Bedford. Mr. Dutton uh, held the cab driver reaching from the back seat to the front, held him in a chokehold while this defendant um, brandished a t black tactical knife, held it to the right uh, side of the cab driver, uh, at which time they demanded money, said they would shank him. Assistant District Attorney Robert Dijon Tommaso describing in court how the cab driver wrestled free, then pulling a gun on the suspects. And the cab driver was able to uh, fire at the individuals in the back seat. This defendant uh, fled from the passenger side door. Um, Mr. Dunton was struck a number of times and he succumbed to his injuries. Police tracking Dawson down a short time later. The ADA says he admitted to being in the back of that cab. He's charged with armed assault with intent to rob and assault and battery with a deadly weapon. And the DA's office is still investigating whether that deadly shooting by the cab driver was indeed self-defense. He has not yet been cleared, nor is he currently facing any charges. We did reach out to the cab driver for comment. Now, Kyle Dawson is being held without bail until a dangerousness hearing next week. We'll have more on his lengthy criminal record coming up new at 6. Live in New Bedford, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. First at six, we have new information on the surviving suspect from the attempted robbery of a cab driver in New Bedford. And police say the attempted holdup last week led to the death of the suspect's accomplice. New at six, we're learning that the surviving suspect has a long rap sheet. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from New Bedford with the new details. Police say two men tried to rob the cab driver at Knife Point on Friday. One of them ended up dead after police say the cab driver pulled out a gun and shot him. The other now behind bars after he was charged in court today. They demanded money, said they would shank him. Kyle Dawson accused of wielding the knife while Christopher Dutton allegedly held a cab driver in a chokehold. The two accused of attempting to rob him after he gave him a ride in his taxi around 1 a.m. Friday. This defendant um, brandished a t black tactical knife, held it to the right uh, side of the cab driver. Assistant District Attorney Robert Dijon Tommaso says the cab driver managed to escape, pulling a gun on the two men, shooting and killing Dutton. This defendant uh, fled from the passenger side door. Dawson was later captured and arraigned Monday on charges of armed assault with intent to rob and assault and battery with a deadly weapon. He's being held without bail pending a dangerousness hearing. The prosecutor says his lengthy criminal record goes back to the age of 13. Most recently, he's been charged with breaking into a home in New Bedford and tricking a woman into giving him $20. He's also on probation for trespassing. And as for that cab driver, the DA's office says he had a valid license to carry that gun. And the DA's office is now investigating whether this shooting was indeed self-defense. Live in New Bedford, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.